All right, welcome again to another MNAV tech video presentation. In this particular presentation, we're going to be looking at navigation by point of interest. Now, first of all, what is a point of interest? A point of interest is a location in TNT that essentially has been programmed into the MNAV digital map of Trinidad and Tobago. So it's part of the map. And a point of interest um, in our maps could represent different things. For, in, for instance, well, we have over 5,000 points of interest. Example, ATMs or schools, magistrate courts, government buildings, police stations, gas stations, uh, hospitals, and all sorts of tourist attractions, all sorts of things like that. So it's all these different locations that more or less that the public would be interested in, like restaurants and attractions and all this sort of thing. So we have those points of interest programmed in there and we're gaining more and more and more and more every single day. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to navigate via point of interest. Before we navigated via address in a previous video, but now we're gonna use point of interest. So similarly, as to the last video, I am just gonna go where to. And there's address here, which we used before, but I'm going to use actually now, I'm going to use point of interest right here. So there's points of interest. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, they're categorized by food, which would be like restaurants, fuel, gas stations, shopping, lodging, and so on. I can scroll down and I get different options, different categories and scroll back up. So you can actually go into a particular category or you can spell the name, right? Like that, right? You can spell the name of the point of interest if you happen to know the name you can just spell it out and go to that particular point of interest. So let me use an example of gas stations. So you're in a, a strange place in TNT. Let's say you live in Port of Spain and you had to go San Fernando. And you know, you're a little low on gas. Where is the closest gas station? What you do, you click on fuel. And it lists the stations starting from the one that's closest to you and goes to the one that's furthest from you. This 0 0.2 here indicates that this is 0 0.2 kilometers away from where you particularly, uh, where, where you are located currently. And I could click on this, and this said, that says Fuel Saddle Road Santa Cruz. With this particular case, I'm in Santa Cruz. And I just click go. Right? Please drive to highlighted route. Right, so that is the closest fuel station to me currently. So I've chosen that gas station. That fuel station or gas station was a point of interest. I selected it. It was pre-programmed into the MNAV maps. But notice that I just, just as in navigating my street address, I just selected it and pressed go. And the navigation is the same as before. As you drive along, you know, as you drive along, that car icon will move. That purple line is your particular uh, route. And that checkered flag there is your destination okay and as you drive along it'll guide you in this particular case it's quite a quite a short short um, route to take the gas station is rather close okay so um, that's how you navigate by point of interest by choosing from a category all right similarly or a little twist then you can actually let me go back to um, menu stop and i'm going to go where to again and points of interest i'm going to spell the name instead Let's say I have an idea of what the name of the place is. Um, for instance, I want to go to Grand Bazaar. All right, I will type in G R A N and D. So I just type in Grand, right? I'm not going to put Grand Bazaar in because this unit is intelligent enough to now pull out all the points of interest with Grand in it. So I click Done. And there we go. We have City of Grand Bazaar North Entrance, we have some more, and we have Sangri Grandi Hospital. So you can, this allows you to search very easily all the points of interest. So it's telling me City of Grand Bazaar North Entrance is 3.7 kilometers away, and I can select it and then click go. Perfect. Please drive to highlighted route. All right, so it starts talking to you once again. So you can navigate there by points of interest very, very, very easily. No problem at all. Okay, so we've learned about navigating by address and navigating by point of interest. Thanks for listening again. Stay tuned for another MNAV tech video where you learn some even more interesting features of 
Garmin and MNav navigation systems. Bye for now.